Record on this computer, it says. Okay. Because when I push this button, it goes, uh, you need the permission from the organizer. I see. Okay. 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 So I, I, uh, I, I, we're now recording. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay. Good. Great. And I set it up so that um, I, I will I will admit people as they enter. So that way, in case we have some crazy person trying to get in, you know, who doesn't belong, I can I can delete them. Okay, you can fix it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we will see. <laughs> so you so tell me about your son. My son, I hope he will join us as well. Oh, I told you, yes. He's almost 10 years old right now. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Yeah, he was wow. born in 2011. Oh. So, yeah, the time goes quickly. <laughs> yeah, congratulations. And is he doing Thank Zoom you. classes now? Is he doing some Zoom classes with school? Uh, he was doing, but this week they are in a regular school now. Mm -hmm. So he goes to school now, but before when we had the lockdown, so he stayed at home and they had the Zoom classes as well. Right, right. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's good. I'm glad. I'm glad that he was able to use it. What was it? Okay. Was it sort of effective or not so yeah. bad? It's useful now. Everybody use Zoom for now or Skype or some other digital. Yeah. <laughs> so it's. It's easy for them, yeah. but unfortunately, yeah. if people do not have um, any cell phone or notebook or something, right. how do they do that and how they can study? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you're right. It's not it's not available to everybody, so that does create mm -hmm. problems. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've been I've been involved with. Uh, quite a number of former students as they're, you know, working and doing things. I've been helping, you know, this company in uh, Kropivnitsky, Onyx, you know, the Onyx systems. Yes, yes. A lot of, yeah, sure. Uh, I've been helping them for the last three years now, uh, editing their documents and helping them with their website and all of that. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. been fun. <laughs> cool. <laughs> You're helping everybody, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, and of course, some of this, our students uh, that, you know, they're living in other cities now, you know, they've moved, you know, various mm -hmm. places. And uh, I'm helping, uh, I'm helping a student who has an English uh, teaching business in Kiev now. And so mm -hmm. I go on every week and, and participate in their class. And it's fun. Yeah. Cool. That's cool. <laughs> so do you plan, do you plan to go to our city? If the I would situation, love to. Would be I would love to. Yeah, I mean, it'll depend upon COVID and travel and mm -hmm. all of this. But you know, it's interesting. Last year was the first year I have not been to Kropotnitsky in sixteen years. Sixteen years. So every year you came here. Every year, I've actually, Before. Christy, I've actually made twenty-eight trips. Twenty-eight visits. Yeah. Wow. And how long you stayed? You know, uh, sometimes a month, sometimes uh, just a week. It sort of depends, you know, on the situation. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I've, I've been there so many times and it felt so strange to not visit last year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So did, did you visit it by yourself or you've been a volunteer, Peace Corps volunteer? Uh, no, or... I haven't been a Peace Corps volunteer. I've been visiting on my, on my own. Uh, oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, I try to go around and see as many people as I can, but it's crazy, you know, it's, <laughs> it's you know, a busy day. It is. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been not only in Krepivnitsky, you visited lots of oh, yeah. regions of Ukraine. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been now, I think I've visited uh, 18 oblasts so far. Yeah. Wow. We didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I I've been only only in some regions of Ukraine, <laughs> not far away, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I've, I've visited <laughs> I've visited quite a few over the years, and of course, you know, now as our students, you know, they are living in different places in Ukraine. I try to visit if I can. So yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> 
I hope you will come one day to us. Thank you. Thank you. Me too. I, I really do. And uh, hopefully, at the, if I can come this autumn, yeah, that would be great. You know, uh, I don't think it, it will happen before autumn, but hopefully I can come before the end of the year. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It will yeah. be great because we don't have any volunteers right now. Yeah. Uh, two years, like, no, one year ago, there were so many volunteers. We worked, worked together in the library, so they held the little classes for participants and we called this club Speak Up. Yeah. yeah. So it was useful and lots of people came, like 15, 20 regular people who came every time, like once a week mm -hmm. or two times a week. Mm -hmm. And I saw you, oh, hello. <laughs> hello, Barbara. Hello, I'm just <laughs> all here right now. <laughs> we have some time. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Waiting for the yeah. <laughs> You just woke up. Woke up, yeah? <laughs> yeah, it's early here. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Okay, okay see you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Where is your doggy, Ozzy? Oh, yeah, Ozzy. He's, he's right here. Hey, Oz. Oz. Hey, buddy. Let's see if we is can. Is it the Labrador? Labrador? Yeah, Labrador. There you can you see him? Almost. I have I have the same but the chocolate color. Oh yes, yes. Here, buddy. Here, Oz, you want to come uh, over? Cool. Here? Yeah, I see him. <laughs> nice doggy. How old is he? Ozzy's uh getting older. He's now I think twelve. Wow. Yeah. He so is we have another we have another uh Admitter, so here here we come. Somebody's coming. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yes. Hello. Hello. А ми можемо вас побачити? Можете включити приєднатися до нас в камеру? Да, можна. Oh, class. Hello, Alexi. This is our regular participant, Alexi. <laughs> I remember him. Добрий вечір. Добрий. Добрий, добрий. Ми ще чекаємо, чекаємо ще людей, щоб підключилися і будемо починати. Так що там ще є час. So I told that we have some time and some yeah. people still will join us. And, ah, here's and another. Then... They're, all, they're all starting to come in now. So we'll admit. Wow, wow. <laughs> Oscar, yeah. Oscar, this is my son. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Оскар, мы тебя не видим, не видим. Включи камеру, будь ласка. Maybe he has some problems with the camera. Yeah, it's so yeah he's getting everything turned on. Yeah. Yeah. There's another. Yeah. But he's with us. <laughs> Hello. He's there Hello. somewhere. There he is. О, oh, це у нас Богданочка, да, Богдана підключилась. It's my Oscar's uh, friend, Богдана. Oh, great. Hey, there he is. Oh. Hello. Hello, hello. Ми ще чекаємо людей, так що залишайтеся тут з нами. Ще чекаємо, щоб підключилися. So we have five participants now. So far, so good. I think we have four, yeah. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I see that most of the people are on mute. They have their mute, uh, their microphone. Uh -huh. off, yeah. Mute, yes. That's that's very very thoughtful. No, da, tak jak u nas się tri chwilinki, to budemo czekate. We still have some time, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're good. Okay. Yes, but yeah, I have to look here. Yeah, you can prepare your presentation. Yeah, I'll get my presentation ready here. Yeah. So share screen. Jeff нам сьогодні покаже презентацію про американські страви, що в Америці полюбляють поїсти, що ми в Україні любимо. Які страви, так що буде дуже цікаво, я думаю. Ви собі можете щось записувати. Десь блокнотик взяти. 
Спасибо, Чекар. Да, на улыбайся. Any other people? Can you see or not? <laughs> yeah, I'm looking to see. No, no one yet. So we'll wait a few minutes just to, uh, yeah. I'll try That's to true. Try and how I can load my uh, load my pictures here. Hold on just a second. Mm -hmm. І будемо починати. Упс. Ah, yeah, I'm having, I'm, I'm having a hard time getting to my picture presentation. Hold on just a second. Okay. Yeah, let me, uh, I'll be right here. Mm -hmm. We'll be online? Yeah, I'll, 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 uh, I'll get it back on here. I just need to move, I think I just need to move it into a different, uh, into a different box. I like the background. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Some people texted me that cannot enter. Oh, okay. So yeah, let me uh, let me just go. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah. So I'm looking. I don't see anyone else waiting. I only see five that are actually waiting. Just, I just texted them one more time a meeting ID and the passcode. Oh, okay. So maybe, maybe that's it. Yeah. yeah. Maybe something wrong. We'll wait just a few more minutes. Yes, okay, sure. Oh, I see what the problem is. Yeah, and when I'm when I'm recording, it's a tough. It's hard for me to. Uh, it's it doesn't uh, let me bring things off of my desktop when I'm recording. That's the problem. I get it. I see that I'm recording it as well. So maybe. Yeah. Let me see. Okay, we got another person to admit. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Hello, Vlada Bondar. Hello. Hello. There we are. Так. Hello. Нас же більше. She speaks English well. Oh, excellent. <laughs> and Alexi as well, he speaks English well. Now Alexi. Excellent. Excellent. Yes, yes. Great. Well, don't worry, don't worry about the pictures for now because I actually have quite a few uh, props right here that I can show, which including my Ukrainian mustard. <laughs> wow, you still have it? Still <laughs> did have you it. buy it? Did you buy it in the United States? Uh, no, in, in Ukraine. Yeah. In Ukraine? Yeah, my Amerikanske mustard. 
Cool. You still oh, yeah, have. So we can. I have a lot of things right here, different foods I can show right here. So it'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, should we start and then let pe I'll add people as they come. Yes, sure. Yeah, you will see how many people. Right. Mm -hmm. Hello. Okay. Why don't you hello, go hello. Start, Christy? Yeah. Окей, сьогодні ми з вами в такому онлайн-форматі зібралися. Я думаю, що зараз до нас ще долучаться люди, тому що не дуже зручний час ввечері о п'ятій. Всі повертаються додому. Тож, сьогодні ми поговоримо про американську їжу, українську їжу, і ви познайомитеся з новим для вас американцем, моїм дуже гарним другом. Колись він був моїм вчителем і теж волонтером Корпусу миру, коли я вчилася. Це було дуже, дуже давно, 12 років тому. Ось, але Джеф дуже цікавий. And Jeff, now it's your time to introduce yourself. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it's a pleasure to see all of your smiling faces. Oops, I'm, I've lost a few faces here, but turn on your cameras if you can. It's great to see you. Uh, yes, my name is Jeff, and I live in the United States, of course. And I live in, uh, I live in a part of the United States uh, called Washington State. And it is uh, on the western side, the far side of the United States, uh, not too far from California, and not too far from the country of Canada. Canada is very close to where I live. So we're going, so we're going to uh, talk a little bit about food, food today. Hey, food. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and let's start maybe from American food. Yeah, it's more interesting for us to know some special food for you, your traditional food. American Absolutely. Food. You bet. So one of the things if you're going to come to America and if you're going to have a sandwich, right, sandwich. you're going to make something with some bread and you're going to eat it. The most important thing to remember is peanut butter. Peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> peanut butter sandwiches are very popular here very popular so you have peanut butter you have bread but you also put it on another part of our culture sort of like lavash a little bit like lavash but they're called tortillas it's a, a yeah mm -hmm. tortilla yeah it looks like tortilla but it's said, you pronounce it tortilla, and it's a very thin, you know, see there's a bunch of them here. It's very mm -hmm. thin, and as a matter of fact, let me take one out here and show you. Yeah, you can see it's very thin, soft. I'm sorry, I will a little bit yeah, yeah, sure. for this, the kids. Uh, замість хліба, так, в Америці дуже популярно, що, що він показав нам, uh, peanut butter, орехове масло, так, вони його вживають дуже часто, і на ланч, і зранку, і ввечері, ну, це дуже і традиційно, uh, з таким ще желейкою якоюсь, варенням, як ми кажемо, ось, і uh, іноді замість хліба вони використовують отакі тартілі, ну, це з мексиканської їжі, коли і куди вони намазують, ну, зараз він розкаже, покаже, окей, okay. You can go on. Yeah, 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 perfect. That was perfect. So, yeah, so you put some peanut butter on or maybe some meat, different chicken or fish or pork or something, and then you roll it up like this. Mm -hmm. And you eat it. Yeah. Very popular in the United States. And it's really, a, it's a, we borrow it from our Mexican neighbors you know, in Mexico. These are very popular. Everything is on a burrito or on a tortilla. Sometimes you call it, you hear it called a taco, a taco. But this is all, it's all the same. A taco is shaped like this. A burrito is rolled mm -hmm. up. And then when it's all by itself, it's a tortilla. So yeah. Буріто вони скручують отак і туди кладуть різну начинку. А тортіля такі мексиканські такі, якби shells, yes, how to call shells. Shell, perfect, perfect. І туди теж 
кладуться овощи, або м'ясо, мілко нарізане, соуси різні. І оце з Мексики прийшла така дуже-дуже чудова їжа до американців. Окей, як я кажу? Yes. And, and then, if you're going to have breakfast, one of the most popular things in America is pancakes. Pancakes. Wow. Наші блинчики. О, дуже смачно. Дуже. Дуже. So, so uh, масло, right? And mm-hmm. you make, yeah, and you make the pancakes, but they're thicker. They're like, uh, not like blinchiki. Blinchiki are very thin. These are thick, you know. So, you, yeah, you make these pancakes in the, in the frying pan. And then you put on this. Сирок, мейпл сирок. Мейпл сирок. Тобто клиновий, клиновий сироп, він дуже популярний в Америці, у нас він коштує дуже дорого, щоб його... І вони от поливають ці блинчики, як пожарять їх, або, ви бачите, в упаковці вже готові, тільки їх розігріли і все, і повели цим сиропом, або медом, або джелі. Окей. Я. І це зроблено з трі, мейпл трі. There is a special liquid in it. It's called sap, S-A-P. And that sap is very sweet. Oh, it's delicious. It's very sweet. And so you make it from, it's made from these maple trees. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's, it's, really, it's really good. You also can sometimes put on some fruit uh, on top of it, you know, so different berries, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, those things. Mm-hmm. But this, this is the most, this is the most popular. Yeah, to go with syrup. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing that we, that we borrow from our Mexican neighbors that is very popular is we have very spicy food, you know, lots of Lots of hot. Mm-hmm. Speci, speci. Dużo bohato speci yeah. z meksykańskoj jeździ. Uh-huh. Yeah, bohato, bohato. Lots and lots of spice. And so we eat these. These are called jalapeno peppers. Jalapeno. And they're hot. <laughs> these. <laughs> and so we, we put this on food. And then we also, let me just borrow one other thing here. Okay. Yeah, here we are. Then we have hot sauce. You see the Mexican man there? See that? Yeah. And we, we put this on. Yeah, that, that should be okay. Yeah, you can see. And this is mm-hmm. really hot. You know, this is... So you put some on your food if you're going to have breakfast. It's very popular with breakfast. You might put it on your eggs. You might put it on some uh, porridge that you're having. You might put it on many different things. But people like to put on hot sauce in America. It's very popular. Any restaurant you go to, if you go into a restaurant, you will see this on the table. You'll always see okay. one on the table. Yeah. <laughs> Я думаю, ви зрозуміли, да, що uh, він ще розповідає за мексиканську їжу і за соуси, які дуже-дуже на такі зі спеціями, uh, як це сказати, диру прямо з скаже. Ось, і вони дуже полюбляються їсти на завтрак. І в ресторанах завжди ви побачите, і, і до речі, це безкоштовно, в них на столах просто стоїть оці соуси. Is it uh, the truth that this uh, sauce is, yes, the hot one? Uh, they are free at the restaurants, so yeah. they just stay yeah. at the table. Безкоштовно собі кладись, хочеш, забирай. Yeah, it's very different. And, and we'll talk about that. That's a great topic. We'll talk about how restaurants are different in America. But, uh, but first, I'll show you the most popular, right? Ketchup. <laughs> you can see. <laughs> this is the most popular. Every restaurant in America, you'll go in and on every table, you'll see hot sauce and ketchup. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And jellies. 
And jellies, yes, absolutely, for breakfast, yeah, for breakfast. <laughs> and on, on that subject, so we have, you know, many different kinds of, the interesting thing about America is there are many different kinds of food, because America is a country of immigrants, right? Mm -hmm. So every country you can imagine, we have food from that country. So, for example, if you lived in Chicago, Chicago has many, many Ukrainians, many Ukrainians. And so uh, I did a Google search before our call, and I searched how many Ukrainian restaurants there are in Chicago. There and? are more than 20. Just Ukrainian food, yeah? Just yeah. 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 українських ресторанів в Чикаго більше двадцяти. То так от в Америці живуть дуже багато українців. У всіх Штатах практично. Окей. Yeah, and of course, where I live, because we have many Asian immigrants, country, you know, coming from China, coming from Japan, coming from Korea, from Thailand, from Cambodia, from the Philippine Islands, uh, all of those countries, we have many restaurants for each of those countries here in our area. And really all over the country, you see them almost everywhere. Nice. <laughs> and that's a big part of our culture. You know, when people say, oh, let's go out to eat, let's go to a restaurant. Most of the time, it will be an Asian restaurant, you know, Chinese or Japanese, you know, sushi, of course, you know all about sushi in, in Krovograd. And oh, yes, we have a lot of sushi restaurants oh, now. Many, many, yes. <laughs> and so here in America, when you talk about American food, you know, American food, American food is world food. It's everything you can imagine, everything you can imagine. And but so, what, what's something traditional, like you said about yeah. peanut butter with yeah, jelly? Yeah, so, yeah. so traditional, and, yeah, so traditional ones, the ones that you sort of think about America, peanut butter sandwiches, also a sandwich that, uh, that I've seen in Ukraine too, but it's on a big piece of bread, you know, large piece of bread with lots of different meats and cheeses and, you know, so we call that a submarine sandwich, a sub mm -hmm. or sub. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. do, you have, do you have pictures of that? I do, Can but I can't, because we're the recording, I can't put those up. But if you, if you search for a sub sandwich, you know, you'll see a million pictures. And sub wow. sandwiches are very popular here, very popular. They're just as popular as hamburgers, which you, you all know about hamburgers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and can, can you give me the permission to demonstrate my screen? Can uh, I do it? Yeah, can, can I do that? How do I do that? Let me see. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. Because I want to show I have the presentation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can, can you, can you uh, let me just see if, if there's something here. Oh, oh, oh let me see. Uh, Okay. Um, okay. If I make you a co-host, I think you can do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. 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 There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I think I did that. Can, can you share now, Christy? I hope so. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Так, хотілось би дуже показати. Так, матеріали, матеріали. Mm. Have one more joining us. I can. Somebody joining us? Yeah. That's great. Just I can't manage to get to my 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 file. I cannot do it. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> okay, don't pay attention. Let's talk. Okay. Okay. Welcome. Welcome to the welcome to our class. Hello. 
Say hello. <laughs> yeah, they're from the iPhone, so. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so typical American food. <laughs> yeah, so one of the things that you'll notice when you visit America is many of the restaurants are what they call buffet style. Buffet <laughs> style. And buffet style means you can have as much as you want. Right? So everything you want inside, you mean? Yes. So if the food is out in uh, in special areas, it's protected. <laughs> it's yeah, it's heated. <laughs> Uh, so the food is available and you can take your plates and walk up to these different counters, different places, and you can mm -hmm. have, you can serve as much as you want of each different type of food. And so they often will have a hundred different choices, a hundred different choices. So it's called cafeteria, yeah? Uh, sometimes cafeteria, but mostly it's called buffet, buffet. Buffet, buffet. Yeah, yeah, buffet, yeah. yeah. Can I translate a little? Of course, of course. Okay. Uh, в Америці дуже популярні є такі буфети, кафетерії, як у нас, де ми можемо прийти і побачити uh, дуже багато їжі, і ми можемо обирати uh, її для себе. Будь-що. Будь це буде суша, це буде морепродукти, це буде рис, це буде дуже багато всього. Uh, і вони зазвичай не дуже дорогі. Uh, and how much it costs? Like 10, 15 dollars? Yeah. Uh, for, yeah, approximately. Mm -hmm. So 10, 15 dollars you have paid for once, but you can eat as much as you want. 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 Yeah. So, so if you're hungry, you know, if you're, oh boy, I'm really hungry, that's a great place to go because you can, you can eat as much as you want. And if you're looking to try different foods, you know, you maybe want to try Japanese food or you want to try Filipino food or Korean food or Italian mm -hmm. food, or, you know, all these different countries, they have choices from all the different countries. So you can try all of these foods on, you know, in one meal, you can try a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of everything, yeah. Да, трошечки поїти італійською їжу, десь там японською, десь китайською, десь філіппінською в одному цьому буфеті в кафетерії. Це дуже дуже класно у них так робили. Mm -hmm. У нас такого mm -hmm. не жаль. Окей? Okay? Yeah, so very popular. And then one of the most popular of all of those buffets, it's called a salad bar. Salad bar. And lots of different vegetables and meats and just everything you can imagine and you put it into a large bowl right and yeah so i'll show you i'll show you what the bowl looks like they have this large bowl and you put all of the different vegetables different meats in the bowl and then you put on something that we call salad dressing dressing it's like a sauce it's a sauce and they have many different flavors. Oh, many different types. So you- Yeah, they very much love the Americans. Yeah, a lot of fruit in this big, like you just showed Jeff, mix. And then they are prepared with different kinds of dressing, they call them different sauces, on any taste. So it's for the sea products, if there are crevettes, and just for fruit, they are very, very different. Okay. Perfect. Lots of different sauces. So some of them are sweet, some of them are sour, some are salty, some, you know, they have all these different flavors. And, and so you make your own mixture, you know, your own food that you like. And they're very popular here in the United States. Так, це дуже популярно в Америці, тому що ці соуси є і солодкі, і кисловаті, і медові, які ти хочеш. І ти сам собі міксуєш все, що захотів, наклав в одну велику тарілку, заплатив за це 10 баксів, ще пішов там, взяв різних фруктів, овочів, морепродуктів, м'яса. І в буфеті це дуже популярно в них така їжа. And so during, during COVID, during this uh, situation this last year, 
you know, many restaurants are not open for business. You know, you can't go to the restaurant and eat inside, but they're still open. And so many of them have just like a sort of like McDonald's where you drive through, you can drive past a little window in the restaurant and you can speak to them and order some food and then they will hand the food out to you, either bring it out to the car or hand it to you. Mm -hmm. we great. have a just we have a just in mcdonald's yeah in yeah. some regions of ukraine not in other uh yeah. in other restaurants uh тож в америці на зв'язку з епідемією зараз деякі ресторани просто закриті але в них є такий драйвей де можна під'їхати забрати свій своє замовлення попередньо його там заказавши на сайті або перетелефонувавши це дуже дуже в них і, і до ковіда було е, популярним, так скажемо. Під'їхав, yeah. забрав. Окей. Yeah. Okay. yeah, so that's, that's what we're doing now. So not much, not much eating in the restaurant, but lots of dry, what they call drive-through or picking up at the restaurant. And then the other big thing is that people are cooking at home. You know, they are eating at home now. They don't go to restaurants as much. And I'm sure that's that's happening in Ukraine. The same situation, yes. Yeah. Да. Yeah. На сьогоднішній день багато людей готують просто вдома, не виходячи в ресторан. Але Yeah. And so, and so in American the, uh, many of the supermarkets here, they have something called self checkout. Self check. So you pay for the uh, things that you buy yourself. You, mm -hmm. you scan them, you know, beep, beep, beep. And then you put your card in the machine and it charges your amount and you're done. There isn't another person doing this for you. You do it yourself. It's and becoming it, popular in uh, Ukraine as well, in supermarkets. Oh, good. Yes, in a big one. In Simpo, do you remember it? Simpo, really? Yes, wow. in Simpo, in Vartor, this is the new one. So we have this. Oh, so you so have so this. We can tell you that you can pay yourself to pay in the supermarket for your things that you bought, or for your food, or for your things. Mm -hmm. У нас це теж зараз популярно бути самообслуговування, так скажемо. Підійшов, сам розплатився карткою і все. Yeah, it's popular. Thank you. That's great. That's great. Well, we're, uh, I see that, uh, I see we don't have, we've lost a few people, but I would love to hear any questions that, that anyone has. Mm -hmm. Влада, Олексій, do you have any questions? No questions. <laughs> okay, I have a question. Yes, um, what's the most I don't know delicious uh, dish in Ukrainian culture you like the most? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> Let's see. Let where do I start? Borscht, uh, Um Let's see. Zareniki, uh, kotleti. Uh, Ah, uh, halupse. Oh, halupse. Oh, <laughs> so good. <laughs> yeah. And, and and solo. I like solo. Solo is good. Yeah, yeah. Was that must mustards that you have? Yes. Oh, yes. And, and I have. Yeah, yeah. I have my uh, I have my mustard. Solo is very popular. It's very popular for Americans. No, not for everyone, but but popular. No, that. <laughs> you know, my favorite, my favorite, uh, Vlada, my favorite is a soup that uh, when Barbara and I were living in Kropivnitsky all of those years, many years ago, we had a wonderful lady who cooked for us. She was a great cook and she made us this soup and I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. Solonka? Solonka? Soup? Mm -hmm. Solonka, yeah. Solonka. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. it. <laughs> so tasty. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> okay, well, and can you tell uh, under what some circumstances did you come to Ukraine and why have you been in Ukraine at, at least at all? <laughs> yeah, good question. Well, as a matter of fact, my wife just walked by 
But my wife was a Peace Corps volunteer in Ukraine, in Kirovograd, way back then. And she was a Peace Corps volunteer for, from 2000, uh, let's see, the end of 2003 until 2007. So four years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was going back and forth. I would fly to America, I would fly to Ukraine, I would go back and forth. And I eventually started staying for a long time because I was starting to do classes at the academy when it was still open and at the university. So after Barbara came home in 2007, uh, I continued to make visits. And I was, as I was telling Christy before, I've made 28 visits to Ukraine. Just to Kropivnitsky or just, just for Ukraine? Just to Kropivnitsky, yeah, 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 yeah. And have so, you been to other cities in Ukraine? Yes, uh, I have been to 18 different oblasts. Yes. <laughs> okay, and which one do you like the most? Kropivnitsky, конечно. For sure. <laughs> and we like you as well. <laughs> Thanks. But yes, I've enjoyed, I've seen uh, lots of different parts. Uh, Zaporozhye, Dnipro. I've been to uh, Lviv, uh, Ternopil, um, Odessa, of course. I've been to uh, Chernivtsi. Lutsk, oh, and others. Yeah, I, I'm forgetting them all, but I've been to many parts of the country. Yeah. Oh, we have someone joining. Oh, it looks like, looks right. like some friends. We have never been in, in, in some. Yeah. Uh huh. It looks like Stas. Somebody joining? Yeah. Let's see Stas, who's joining. Yes, yeah, Stas. Oh, Anna Kosa, Stas, yeah. Stas, you can the camera, or it doesn't <laughs> Hello, Jeff. Oh, <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Our new guest. <laughs> we already started, so we have 25 more minutes because our library closing at six, so we oh, have some of course, of course. <laughs> okay, yeah. and what about your top five for American food, Jeff? Your top five. Top five, okay, top five. Uh, top five, number five, peanut butter. <laughs> Without question. Uh, number four would be, uh, you know, you have borscht, right? We have chili. Have you ever heard of this, chili? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, like, it's like American borscht. It's not, it doesn't taste like it. It's made from tomatoes and beans and meat and hot sauce. Lots of, oh. yeah. And everyone, every family has their own recipe. It's like borscht, right? Everyone makes their own style. And in America, people love to make chili. Oh, they love it. You know, it's a it's part of the culture. So number three, pancakes. <laughs> really great. popular. Yeah, really popular. I would say number two would probably be salad, a salad of some kind, like the salad bar we talked about. And um and then, it, then it's tough. You know, we have uh, hamburgers, uh, hot dogs. We have uh, the burritos that we talked about, the, you know, the tortillas. Those are my top five. Yeah, those are my Okay, five. great. <laughs> and I have a question. What do you usually order in a um, restaurant, in, in typical American restaurant, not uh, Japanese food yeah. or Chinese yeah. restaurant? Just typical American, is it, it? It would be hamburger or, or what? Or meat or something, something special? Yeah, that's a good question. I think um, if you were to go into a real restaurant, an American restaurant, usually people in restaurants don't order a hamburger. You know, that's not that common. If you want a hamburger, you just- For you know, tourists, just for yeah. tourists, yeah, coming, yeah, yeah, exactly. hamburger, yeah. hamburger. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> 
but usually it's a uh, some it's maybe seafood. You might have some fish, you know, if you like that, or uh, maybe a steak, you know, beef steak with a potato and some vegetable, maybe. Uh, that's that's very common in America. If you were to go to a restaurant, you maybe have some steak. We call it a steak. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Cool. And what do you usually have in lunch? Uh, lunch is a sandwich, almost always a sandwich of some kind. Yeah, oh, very common. Uh, also a salad. People like to either bring a salad with them to to work, you know, and then they put their, their salad dressing on it, you know, and <laughs> eat that for lunch. But also uh, a lot of these Asian foods are popular for lunch, you know, uh, sushi, you know, a little box of sushi for lunch. Mm -hmm. Chinese food. Yeah, Chinese, very popular, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mexican as usual. Oh, hugely popular. Yeah, Mexican. Uh, in the area that Barbara and I live, uh, more than 10% of the population is from Mexico. So many different uh, restaurants here, lots of different uh, shops that sell uh, just Mexican uh, products. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. And what about um, holidays? When do you have your traditional holidays like Thanksgiving days or Christmas? What do you usually cook? Yeah, the most the popular is the, is, the, is the turkey. You've seen turkey. turkey. Yeah, turkey. turkey is very popular <laughs> on, on the holidays. And on Christmas and other, uh, other uh, traditional It's also holidays. popular for Christmas. Uh, you see uh, Christmas turkey and Thanksgiving turkey. Uh, and then, and then other people. It's interesting. They do turkeys, but they also do a lot of uh, Asian foods. You know, Chinese mm -hmm. food is popular on Christmas. Uh, Japanese, you know, sushi, you know, for Christmas as a treat. Yeah. So it, it's interesting. It de also depends on what part of the country you live in too. Different parts of the country have different traditions. You know, they have different things that they like. Uh -huh. Can you explain a little fact that I mentioned when I've been in the United States? Uh, McDonald's food, it's yeah. very cheap in the United States. Yeah. Why is it so expensive in Ukraine? Yeah, it's <laughs> Why is it so... Uh, I don't interesting know. Question. It's a great question. You know, it, it's... <laughs> I know that there is an idea that everyone in America eats McDonald's. Yeah, it's not really true. I mean, they're they're popular, but not that popular. You know, most most people don't eat at McDonald's. They eat, you know, more healthy foods. But mm -hmm. if you're traveling, if you're you know driving your car and you're going somewhere and you don't want to stop and eat, that's when it's popular. You know, you go to the McDonald's and grab something quickly and eat. Yeah. But in most cases, yeah, I, I haven't been in one in years. I mean, I just don't go to them very often. But it's interesting. You're right. It's expensive in Ukraine, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is. Yeah. It's like yeah. something in the middle, but it's expensive. And do you know the history of uh, McDonald's? They yeah. like the invention yeah. of McDonald's. Do you know something? Yeah. yeah, it was actually invented in the middle of the country, not too far from Chicago. If you look at a map, you'll see the Chicago in the middle. And uh, it, was, uh, it was in the 1950s, I think 1955, 1956. 50s years ago, you see McDonald's. Yeah, something like that, yeah. He went to America somewhere in Chicago. And uh, I remember uh, I was alive then, believe it or not. And so <laughs> I remember... I remember uh, we, uh, my parents took uh, the three, the three kids, myself and my two sisters. We went to a McDonald's, and I think it was maybe 1959. We went to this McDonald's, and I remember uh, an entire meal. You know, something to drink, uh, the hamburger and some French fries. It, everything was uh, one quarter of a dollar, so 25 cents. Yeah. So it started. Uh, it started just from the French fries and hamburgers. Yes. Yes. Oh, but that's. Чого почався Макдональдс? Що він 
пам'ятаю, коли він був маленький, прийшов з мамою а, в Макдональдс, і перше, що вони побачили там, то це а, картошка фрі і гамбургери. Більш нічого не було. А зараз у нас, ну, ви самі знаєте, да? всі були в Макдональдсі, знаєте, скільки там чого продають. Окей. Okay. Yeah, it was, uh, of course, now there are many different you know, type restaurants like that. You know, there's McDonald's, of course, there's Burger King, which some of you may have heard about. There's Wendy's, which is very popular. And then there are uh, uh, this other place called Subway, which makes those submarine sandwiches. Yeah, Subway is much better. <laughs> much better, yeah. They're very popular in America. I think there are, I think there are 15,000 Subway sandwich shops in America. 15,000. Amazing. Very, very popular. <laughs> very popular. <laughs> What about steakhouses? Many, It is very popular. Very meat. popular. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Steakhouses are very popular. Our um, steak is very, is very big in America. You know, beef is, is very popular here. Yeah. <laughs> and the portions, I remember the portions in American restaurant, it's huge. You always take home, take away. <laughs> yes, they have, they call it a, uh, it's like a sabaka, they call it a doggy bag. Doggy bag. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they give you a bag or a box of some kind and you take the food that you don't eat and you put it in this bag and then you, you go home, yeah. <laughs> For also some restaurant. Also, some restaurants may just take the fee for entrance, like entrance fee, and, the, and then you can take with whatever and how many you want. Yes, that's right. We were talking about that before you joined. Yes, at the beginning. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Buffet restaurants are very popular here. Yeah. You pay one price and, you know, eat as much as you but, want. But you cannot take home, yes? You cannot take home the food. Correct. You just cannot... eat inside, yes? That is correct. I remember, you all remember, uh, for, well, Two of you remember uh, Lena Baronova from the Academy. When she visited me here in America, I took her to a nice buffet restaurant. And she looked at me after she was there for a little while. She was eating all of this food. And she looked at me and she said, Jeff, <laughs> if we had this in Kirovograd, no one would leave. And people would just stay. <laughs> yes. That's for Ukrainian people who likes to eat, yeah. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Okay, so anything else you want to tell us about American food? Your yeah. favorite? I think, I think we've done it. Any other questions? I would love to hear from everyone else on the call. Sorry. Sorry. That's okay. Алексей, any other, any other question? Задавай питання. No questions. Hey. No questions. No they will listen in you. You're a good speaker. You're a great speaker, that's why. Oh, uh, well, thank you. It's been, it's oh, been really fun. I've really enjoyed talking with all of you. And I hope if we talk again, I hope that you'll ask some more questions. You know? When are you coming to Ukraine, Jeff? To <laughs> Hi, Stas. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you, Stas. Um, when are you planning to come to Ukraine? Ah, uh, when, yes. Well, when it's safe to travel again, you know? <laughs> yeah. So are you getting uh, are you getting like injections soon? Uh, yeah, for this Barbara COVID? And I, yeah, Barbara and I are scheduled to have our vaccine in uh, April, uh, May, March and April. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So after that, it will be a little better. But I think in terms of flying, um, you know, across you know that long trip to fly to Ukraine, probably by autumn. I hope by September mm -hmm. or October. Yeah. Fingers crossed. You know. And they also don't have like direct flights right now. So they're making those with correct multi-stops. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a long trip. Uh, for those of you who don't know uh, where I live, it's uh, 
it's at 10 hours earlier here. So it's uh, 7.45 in the morning. <laughs> good morning. Good morning, Jeff. <laughs> 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 so and it's a long airplane trip oh my goodness it's um it's about uh let's see to get it's about 17 hours to to fly to ukraine from here yeah it's a long it's a long trip yeah it's a long trip but we hope, hope you will come thank you you will come <laughs> anytime i hope so too i hope so too <laughs> What else? Any, any other questions? Yes, I just, yeah, I want to ask where do you live in what part of America and what city? Yeah, yeah. Because you I know, didn't catch it. That's okay. So I live, uh, Barbara and I live in Olympia, Washington, Washington State. So there's Washington, D.C., which you heard about. That's on the eastern coast, you know, closer to Ukraine. So Washington State, it's its own state, and that's on the west coast, and it's way up uh, by Canada. So north of California and just south of Canada. And so we're next to the Pacific Ocean. And we live in Olympia, which is not far from Seattle, Washington. You may have heard of this city called Seattle. And Seattle mm -hmm. is famous for a couple of companies that you probably know about. Uh, Microsoft uh, company is located in Seattle, and uh, Bill Gates, you know the, the rich guy. Yeah, he, he's there, and uh, and then this uh, this company. Uh, there's lots of other large, you know, sort of tech companies located in Seattle. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Great English, by the way. Excellent pronunciation. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Yeah, she is our participant of our club. Yeah. Okay, so guys, maybe let's plan our next meeting. Where, when can you do it? When can we do it? What about you, Jeff? Uh, it, time is good for me. So if you want to do it uh, the following week is great with me. Or what's better? What's better for everyone here? I think I will ask everybody. <laughs> I hear a dog. <laughs> yeah, we have, we have some. Oh, sorry. That's okay. We'll close the window. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Should we should we try this next next week at the same time, Christy? Yes. <laughs> yes, it's perfect. Is that good, Vlada? Good for you? Yes, that is great. Still had a show? Yeah. We don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think Christy, Christy's uh, looks like her. Yeah, yeah maybe. Her, her writing text in to yeah. the group, yeah. OK. OK, and what the next topic will be on Friday? Oh, what what topic would you like, Vlada? What, what, what would you like to know? I think, if you don't mind, about movie, maybe. Something about movie, because it's American stuff. Sure. And it's really popular. Sure, absolutely. Yeah, we'll talk about that. Let's talk about movies. <laughs> Good idea. And also Ukrainian actors in American movies. Oh, I, you know, I don't know that many. Do you know some, Stas? <laughs> um, so there are a couple of ethnical Ukrainians uh, who, are, uh, who are shooting the movies. Um, so also, the, I forgot the name of the guy. He was shooting for Westerns. Yes. I Mila think I Kunis. saw that in the newspaper, yeah. And also, yeah, M Mila Kunis, she's from Chernivtsi. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mila Jovich also. Yep, that's oh, right. right. I know her. Somebody. Yeah. <laughs> so we can try <laughs> yeah, to find as popular. many as we can. <laughs> yeah, you can do some yeah. research. You can do some research. Yeah. Yes, yeah. You can. <laughs> Well, thanks. I think I think we lost Christy. I think her connection went down. But uh, let's let's plan on. Uh, we'll put out some information on Facebook, and I'll uh, reserve a Zoom uh, call for next week at the same time. Yes. Okay. Yes. Picrasne. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Hopefully, next week will not be so busy as this one. So. I hope so. I hope so.
Thanks again. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks. It was Thank nice to see you. you. Good, to yeah. see you. Good to see you, Sam. <laughs> Great. To see you. Great. Okay. Hey, Sauce. Hey, Sauce, do you want to wait online yep. just a bit? Okay. Yeah.